Hold them like a cup. If you hold them like that, it, it, it won't. You gotta cuff your hands because it'll just go right through. And if your fingers is open, it'll just go through. You hold it like a cup. And you say, Receive what the Lord is about to give you today. Be ready to receive, Lord, your word today. We just ask you blessing. Let's fill this place up with your Holy Spirit. Let it overtake us right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. That we are know that the rain is about to come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We just praise you. We worship you. We honor you. We glorify you, God. Because the rain is about to come. In Jesus, in, Jesus in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Our soul says, Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I hear the rain. You know, we talked about are you ready? And we didn't realize that God was getting us ready for it. Are you ready for the rain? Mm -hmm. You know, rain means it could be fall, the former, or the spring, the latter rain. These rains mark the beginning and the end in the Jewish harvest. It's dreams about rain it means revival, success, fruitfulness also could mean unhappiness or performance. See, if you ain't been in the right place, it might be unhappiness for you or forbearance. Things not going to go right for you. If you haven't been doing the things that God said, because he gets us ready for the rain. You know, when we hear the weatherman say it's going to rain, we, we get dressed appropriate. We get umbrellas or raincoats and stuff, and we get what God say is about to rain. So we got to be appropriate. We got to be ready. I told you last week, are you ready? And you will see what God is about to give. You know, all of us have been through some dry seasons that just didn't produce nothing. Everything that's dry. You ever seen a dry field? Mm -hmm. It start cracking. Yep. And you know why it's cracking? Because so when the rain comes, it'll be able to absorb it. So sometimes we got to keep going through some things so we can get ready for the rain. In Matthew 24, 45, it says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Is you a faithful and wise servant whom the master made ruler over his house to give them food in due season? You know, God uses each one of us in due season that we will be able to give somebody else something because when you do what God wants, he wants to give you even more. Are you ready for that season? Amen. The rain is about to come. We ain't go through all these trials and tribulations for nothing. That's why God said, count it all joy. See, when we get dry, here come the rain to fill us up. Yeah. So we can feel moisture. Amen. So we can be ready to produce. Are you ready to produce? Amen. You know, are you too busy 
running around doing all kinds of other things and not ready for what the Lord is about to give you. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 1, he said, But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write you again. No, God been preparing us since the beginning of our life, since we learned about him when we became born again. God has been preparing us for a blessing. You know, he, he takes us through some trials and tribulations to see if we are ready. Do we understand? Have you been studying your Bible? Have you been praying? Have you been praising him? Getting ready for what he's about to give you? Or is you still in that dry season? Because if you're still in that dry season, you might just stay dry. But God says, why do I keep have to remind you over and over again? He said, we've been made endure. That's why he tells us in Psalm 35, for his anger is but for a moment because you wouldn't do what he asked you to do. It'll just last for a while because he said his favor for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy going to come in the morning. You've been weeping, you've been crying, but it's only for a night because joy is about to come. Sometimes it's when you go through the, that dryness, that emptiness, and that hurt and pain for boy to the morning. When that morning comes, and you're smiling, and you're rejoicing, it's like when you go through the winter. You've been through the winter months, and then all of a sudden, here comes spring. Spring is coming, and spring Bring your joy. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be ready. Because if you're not ready, you're going to miss out. Mm -hmm. In Ruth 4, 7, he said, Now this was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming exchanges. To confirm anything, one man took off his sandal and gave it to another. That was a confirmation in Israel. What is God confirming you for this season? Believe me, something in your life, God is confirming you for what he's about to do. You know, because he, everything God do is for a reason. You might not understand it right now, but there is for a reason. It's a reason why you had to go through. There was a reason why that happened to you. It's a reason. God is trying to get you where you need to be. Yeah. See, if you won't get the rain to get the harvest, you got to be ready. God not going to give it to you if you are not capable of handling it. I hear the sound of the rain. You know, sometimes when it rains, the levels can get very high. Sometimes we need some great levels because we've been so low down, but it came to lift you up. Sometimes you need a flood to prepare the ground all around you so that you can produce something. He tells us in Matthew 5, 19, whoever therefore break one of these least of these commandments and teach men so. What you been teaching men? What do they see you doing? Do they see you doing things that you ain't supposed to do? And you got somebody else watching you and you wondering why they acting that way? Because they don't see you do it. Shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teach them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. What have you been teaching somebody? It's time to move to some great levels. You know, it's a shame you still on milk when you're supposed to be eating some meat. It's a shame. God said, how am I going to send you the rain if you won't lift yourself up? You got to get up. You got to get to the great levels. Great is he 
that is in you than you in this world. Why you keep allowing this world to beat you down? Why you keep allowing things to take you out? It's time to reach some great level. God got something more for you. He ain't put all that stuff inside of you just so we can die. I hear the sound of the rain. I hear the sound of the rain. It's coming. Look up for what God has spoken. What have he spoken to you? In Ezekiel 37, 4 and 5, again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones. You know you've been dry. You know you've been dead. And God keeps coming over and over. keep telling you the same thing. And he said to them, all oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Why? You won't hear the word of the Lord. You keep staying in that same shape when you're supposed to be getting in great levels. But you can't get in no great levels because you're not hearing the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter in you and you shall live. He wants the Holy Spirit to flow in you. It's supposed to flow in you and it can't even get in you because you ain't listening to the word of the Lord. You ain't studying. You ain't listening to the word of the songs that God, God keeps sending songs out so you can get some kind of word in you. Almost every song got a word of the Lord. And he's trying to speak. You know that sometimes you can hear a song. And for some reason, it grabs your attention. Why would it grab your attention? Because there's something that is in you that needed that song. Mm -hmm. And God was speaking to you. He said, I will open up the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing. God is pouring out blessing in the rain. He's trying to wash you so that you can be able to hear what the Lord said. Instead of being a dead bone and thinking that God can't do nothing with you, God made everything so He could sure enough do something with you while you still in the dry land. When the rain is coming, it's coming. It's coming. Surely, I would cause breath to, why won't you let them in? Open the door and let the rain in. Let the breath of God get in you so you won't stay in that shape. Why you won't open your Bible? Why you won't stay on track? Why? Because the rain is about to come. You know, it made me remind me of Noah. They might look and laugh at Noah, but Noah kept doing. God told me to build this. It ain't never rained before. That's all right. But God said it is. And if God says it's going to happen, guess what's going to happen? It's going to rain. And guess what happened? Because none of them would listen. God said, Noah, you and your family get in there because they wouldn't listen. And here come the rain. And then they came banging on the door. Let us in. No, because you said that God don't make it rain. You can't get in because you wouldn't listen to the sound of the Lord. He been trying to speak to you over and over and over and over again. But you won't listen. Here come the rain. You're going to get overflowed. Because you wouldn't get to the high level mm -hmm. that would hold you up. Mm -hmm. If you hear the sound of the rain, it's coming. The rain is coming. Mm -hmm. You better watch out because mm -hmm. it is coming. I hear the sound of the rain. I know some spiritual blessings is about to come. Mm -hmm. But you got to be ready. He says in Psalm 76, 6, he shall come down like rain upon the grass before the morning, like showers that waters the earth. It's coming. 
He's getting the ground ready for the harvest. It's supposed to produce something. Every time you hear the word, it pulls a prophet. Second Timothy said the, the three and sixteen said that it pulls to produce something. It's supposed to profit you something. Why ain't the word profiting in your life? You're not listening to his word. You're not understanding what God said. He said it's going to rain. You got to listen for the sound of the rain because God is about to do something. You know, I, I had wrote this the beginning of the week and then he sued when we sent me these uh, prophecies and I saw this prophecy. The blessing is about to come. It's about to come overnight. It's coming. But see, because you didn't listen, because you didn't hear, because you didn't see right. what God was trying to tell you. He had to confirm it for you. See, one thing I know about God, he always confirms. Yes. He over and over again. I've been hearing this for a round. You know, and, and I can't wait till next week till you hear the answer of what God is saying. Mm -hmm. You see, he told you last week, are you ready? Yeah. And I said, I asked you when I finished, will you be ready? Will you be ready for what God was about to say? Amen. Are you ready? Are you doing the things that God wants you to do? Or are you too busy doing your own thing? All right, now. You can't hear Amen. the sound of the rain. Amen. See, God got a blessing for you. And it's his word. He says in Isaiah 55, 11, For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but the water of the earth and make it bring forth buds that it may give seed to the sower. Are you a sower? You, do you need some seeds? Amen. Well, that's why it got to rain. See, so you can plant them seeds and that water is the only thing that will bring it to life. You can't put Amen. no seed Amen. in the ground and don't water it Amen. and think you're going to get Amen. something. Amen. You gotta get the rain. Amen. The Amen. rain is important to the blessing. Amen. And if you're not ready, hmm, and the bread to the eater, are you hungry? You know, it's something when you get a good piece of bread and you put some butter on, maybe some peanut butter and jelly. Amen. You might want some mayonnaise, make your BLT, whatever the sandwich is, or turkey club. Whatever you want that bread for, but you got to get it ready. See, if they don't produce the seeds that will be planted in the ground, you won't get no bread. Amen. You won't get no vegetables. You might not get no fruit. See, we're supposed to be a fruit inspectors. Amen. We're supposed to inspect your fruit. If you're not doing the things that God sent the seed to do, I am the fruit protector, Amen. and Sue is the fruit protector, and Je Elder Jan is the fruit protector, and Deacon Tim is the fruit protector. Amen. We got to tell you, your fruit ain't no good. Amen. So shall my word be that go forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. See, what people don't understand, what void is. See, <clears throat> whatever God tells you, it's two ways. Either it's going to be good or it's going to be bad. See, that's how come his word never go out void. Because it will accomplish whatever he set out for Amen. God. Because if he sent out something and you're not ready, guess what? It's going to chastise you. He say, I chastise those I love. But it shall accomplish what I please. God pleases. Whatever he pleases in your life, it's time for you to realize that your life belongs to God. Amen. I don't know why you want to keep doing your own thing. And that's why my motto is, why you want to go through this hell on this earth and die and go to hell. That's stupid. And don't listen to the instruction of the Lord. Won't take the time to study his word. 
so you'll know whether what we're telling you is the truth. That's why some of y'all hesitate and get mad when we tell you something. Because if you knew what the word has said, you would know that we were telling you the truth. Amen. The rain is coming. Rain is coming. The rain is coming. 